This is it, fellas. Time to send. <laughs> What's up everybody, how's it going? Welcome to this episode of Car Ant. Today is the day that this engine runs. But behind the scenes, there have been a few things that we've been doing just to kind of learn before we went and tried to do this ourselves. One of which was picking up a number of parts, uh, including a new distributor because this one is an eight pin and the harness is a 10. So we now have an LS distributor, brand new in the box from CarQuest over there. We now have plates for the car, we now have the bolts for the actual brake, uh, not brake line, fuel line. We are, uh, we basically have the whole thing wired now. We want to double check to make sure that everything is set. The only thing we have to do now with the wiring is extend this plug, maybe that plug, not sure yet. And this guy, we, well, we won't talk about that guy. We need to extend him, but we're gonna use a thinner gauge wire. We overestimated how big that wire actually was. We also went ahead and got a CV axle, which there's a bit of drama to that one. We'll explain in an episode of Extra when we talk about the cost of this whole build. And uh, we also got a new Mishimoto radiator from our friends at Moore. Shout out to you guys, you guys are dope. Uh, we, this is gonna be just super clutch. Because now instead of using the nasty cheap E radiator that's somewhere in those boxes over there, we actually have a good radiator. We just have to strap the fans to it, wire those in, have that be set to go, and then, uh, Maybe turn it on so we can actually hear it sing for the first time, even though it's got only half an exhaust. Good times. <laughs> Good talk, Cameron. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for something. I can't find it. Typical build. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except the irony is, instead of losing the 10 mil, we keep losing the 12 and 14 mils. Yeah, the thing the Honda needs because it's not normal. Exactly. <laughs> this, should this just pop off now? Yeah, give it a couple wiggles. There she right. goes. Nice. There she is. There she is. And that awful eight pin that we don't need anymore. Yep, thank God. We're not gonna eat this one. Yeah. This might actually still be good. <laughs> but we'll we are it. definitely gonna double check the timing from that guy to this new guy to make sure that he goes on the correct way. <laughs> Look at that. Old and busted. This is for you, Josh. New hotness. Old and busted. New hotness. <laughs> So, I've been working for the past couple of minutes off camera. Got a couple of things done. First and foremost, the distributor is now plugged in. It's now lined up. Everything should be timed here. We'll find out when we start the car if we're off a little bit. The fuel line is now on. We just gotta tighten up a couple of joints here and there, get that situated. We're working on the throttle extension. That's about as far out as we're gonna extend it to make sure the tension remains. And then we'll pull this guy off actually, so we can actually get the lines to this plumbed up or sealed up if need be. And then, uh, yeah, with the radiator, it's now sitting in the car. We'll find something to bracket that together. It might have to be a zip tie for now since mine didn't actually have that top piece at all. You ready for this? We're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> so you can have your garage back? <laughs> For another project. Heck yeah, brother. Been a long, long two months of just working and doing research and putting things together, taking it apart. We're, we are ready for this. Also, Ishmael, this one's for you, buddy. <laughs> the, funny, the funny joke behind this one is the fact that it's Midori green, it's loud, it's spicy, right? and therefore it's a jalapeno, but uh, for us, it's also a jalapi, so it's a jalapeno, jalapeno. That's the license plate. <laughs> oh, this thing, this is the memes are gonna be so good when we're done. I'm ready. <laughs> we're just putting the headers back on. This is not to like, oh, we have the car like running and driving. No, this is to make sure that like everything works. Cause as of right now, there's no fluid inside of the, uh, radiator there's just no cooling in it at all so this is really just to see 
if in fact the block is sealed up tight, there's no leaks anywhere, and also to make sure that our trans is good and see if it'll even crank. So let the fun times roll. After countless hours of wiring and plumbing up connections and making sure that everything was set, the car would still not turn on. We kept running into grounding issues where different units weren't getting signal or were getting too much signal. We ended up pulling the starter out of the car thinking that maybe the starter was blown, only to find that it was totally fine. In the end, our ultimate solution was to call up some friends at Moore and see what they had to say, and then be told we just needed one ground wire. That's okay. Add suspense. You can add some dramatic music over this. Right. Some slow black and white no, you shots. Should, uh, what you do is you, you just start playing like the uh, the Avengers theme. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ready? Do the roar! You're good. No <laughs> Now we put the B20 easy no, in. No. That is loud as Oh, just a little. So, with that drama show, <laughs> we are now actually putting on the B20 ECM. And uh, I know you can't see Jack, but that's because it's really dark down there. <laughs> if this works, dude, that was torquey too. Oh, yeah. Like, I felt the whole car going. I was like, oh, oh, baby. Like, this is about to be loose. You'll never get used to it. <laughs> Get the fluids pumped. You giving it any saw? Oh no, you can't. Here. You have the throttle? You ready? Yeah. this car it's just borderline monumental it's the first time we've ever swapped a car it's the first time we've ever successfully got it to turn on and now we're looking at trying to make it drive behind the scenes we've gone through and installed our shifter got our shift connection set up so we can actually drive the car and next time you see us hopefully it'll be us dialing out some issues uh, there are a few lines that we actually needed to extend, a couple of plugs we needed to add to the harness to make sure that things were running correctly. But it's looking like we're going to finally be able to actually see what the new setup on our Jalapeno <laughs> will feel like. I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. And with that said, we'll see you guys next time. God bless y'all and peace. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't go.
it's a very fine mist. Yeah. But, uh, it's up to you what you're gonna do now. Otherwise, it's a run to the store.